All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of a new dawn. So this is probably going to be the last one um, in a row. No, no, this is going to be the last new dawn ever. Yeah, yeah, you know, this this series hasn't been getting uh, too much feedback, so I think we're going to just pass on it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. Um, this is going to be the last one in a row. I think uh, tomorrow for Monday, I'm going to go ahead and have a Prophecy of Pandora out for you guys, but I'm planning on kind of alternating Prophecy of Pandora and a new dawn for at least the next little while. I don't know. Maybe once I go back to school in a couple weeks, uh, we'll start up a third series. Uh, but for right now, I think these two are some... I'm, I'm enjoying creating these episodes, and you guys are enjoying them as well, so why, why change it up? So, anyways, what we're doing right now is uh, we're about to take on some Valkyries. I don't know what to expect. Um, the Amazons that we faced were pretty weak. These Valkyries could be pretty tough. Um, so we're going to go after them and see what the hell happens. Okay, they're chasing after... Ooh, wow, she looks pretty badass, huh? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, fuck it. I guess charge in, boys. Fine. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, man. Why do I feel like this is a mistake? Uh, okay, they have regular horses. Oh, there we go. 184 damage plus 4 polearm proficiency just from that strike alone. Let's go. Alright, 42 damage there. They do have some javelins from the looks of it. Yep, they got some javelins, so we gotta be careful. Gotta be cognizant. Um, maybe we should take our lance out. Maybe we'd be... Maybe we'd have some better luck getting some... Ouch. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know if I like going for couch lances here. Oh, nope. Okay, neither of us hit shit there. Maybe we should just try to go for their horses instead of them. That might be a better idea. They're a lot faster than us. Ah, he's fucking... Oh, there we go. Eddie's getting a kill already. I didn't even realize last episode when I was uh, telling you guys that what their new names. There's Ed, Ed... Eddie and then Edwin, our hero Edwin. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even register for me. We just got all the Eds, and then I guess Amira as well. She kind of counts, kind of counts. All right, here we go. Let's see. This one doesn't look like it's paying attention. Oh, damn it! Not quite. Didn't quite get it down in time. Ah, uh, normally my problem is getting it up in time, but I guess <laughs> not for these ladies. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but guys, I'm having a ton of fun with this series, and. Uh, there's so much, I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's different in the comments, it's different, like, you guys, <clears throat> there's comments that I almost never see before, there's one guy in particular, Chaos, who's always leaving a comment on every episode, pretty much, um, go with, like, uh, like, a long, like, multiple paragraph comment, talking about, like, different possible, like, stories, or whatever, or, like, uh, the background for, like, Mason and whatnot, like, turning into, like, an actual book. Like, what's going on in the series right now, and it's fucking sweet. Like, he's making actual lore behind our series. I love it. I mean, I'm not saying that that lore that he's making is canon, but the way that he's making it is fucking sweet, is what I will say. But, oh, damn it. Almost got her. All right, this is the last one, I'm pretty sure. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of thought one of the brothers three were uh, gonna get taken out here. Um... After seeing what the Valkyries act actually looked like, but they're still holding strong. These guys are pretty good. Uh, I will say this, though. I'm in the middle of, of watching UFC 214. Um, and it's about to be, I don't know, probably like 5-10 minutes or so. The main event is going to start between John Bones Jones and uh, Daniel Cormier. A uh, fight that's been, God, I don't even know how many years in the making. Like, two years in the making, basically? <laughs> the rematch between the two? Uh, so I definitely am, am going to want to fight that. So probably going to pause the video at some point here. I mean, you guys won't notice it, obviously, but uh, just to watch it. I see Jones is about to enter the ring right now, uh, but that's what I've been doing at work all day. I think I told you guys, it was a long day at work, man. Um, we're going to put these in here. Do they want any of it? Yes, they do. Then collect the rest. Um, it was a long day at work. It was a 16-hour shift for me, so I just got back. It's already past midnight, um, but at least it, it kind of tailed off towards the end. wasn't too busy. I um, got to wa watch most of the uh, initial fights, at least. Alright, let's go into Dirham here. Avoid this Crusader group. Go ahead and sell... Tell you what, we're going to change it so that... We're going to put this all the way up to 9999. There we go. 
and just sell automatically when leaving just so we don't forget from now on so if we go to sell it off why isn't it selling oh, maybe we have to leave the actual city I don't know, whatever. We got 900 from, th from that, though. And let's see if there's another... It should still be a prison. Yes, there we go. Okay, 840 for three. There we go. So, goal goals for this episode. Um, I want to get... Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. Oh, the Legionnaire levels up into the Centurion. And the Centurion levels up into the Champion. Holy shit. Okay, we need to keep this guy alive. I mean, doesn't look like it'll be too hard. He's wearing <laughs> like a tank's worth of armor. Oh my god, he looks suited up. What is uh what is, what kind of stuff he's got? Oh my god. 70 body armor, 70 head armor. That's what we got, man. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think the fight's getting close here. Uh, we need to level ourselves up though. Two more levels. Alright, we're gonna get some more iron flesh. So we're we're actually probably really beefy right now. Um so that is the nine times three, twenty-seven extra hit points. Yeah, so we have hundred and eight hit points right now. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Alright, let's move on. Let's find another fight. Um and I might uh, Desert Nomads and Rodok Confederacy make peace. Ooh, Desert Nomads have taken a fortress of Durin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a new faction, baby. Oh, shit. There's a new faction. I forgot about this. I forgot that the the um, the um minor factions can actually take siege and take castles. And when they do that, they become actual factions. Oh, that's legit. I completely forgot that that was a thing. That's cool. I mean, they're probably not going to do too much with it. But, um... Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Vagers in the Desert Nomads made peace. Who's this guy? Ru Renegades, 19 of them. Nah. Nah, we don't need that. We don't need that. Shit. Oh, okay. Seven of them. Seven Knight Errants. Alright, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do about this. Oh, no, we're going to have the lower ground here. That's not good. Damn, Frank! Frank hit one of their horses. It's not what we need at all. Okay, at least we're doing a decent amount of damage to these guys. Ugh, okay, well not. <laughs> I say decent. When we're going full speed in the opposite direction to them and hitting them with a good shot, we do okay damage. <laughs> Rest of the time, not so much. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this fight. I think we might lose... At least one, if not all, the brothers in this battle. There we go. First one down, though. First one down. Oh, here we go. Um, if they're gonna turn around here, we're gonna come in for a couch lance. 24 damage. That's it. I mean, I know he was going away from us, so it's not that surprising, but still, that was a little lackluster, if I do say so myself. Okay, slowly beating this one down. Come on. The brothers are just taking them for a freaking ride right now. Ooh, there we go. Took him out. Nice, nice. That one's pretty wounded. Alright, we're just gonna spam hit these guys down. If we can. Overheads. Yep, overheads are where it's at. Block that. There we go. Another one down. Sweet. Ed over there with two Ds takes one out. Another one retreats. Where is, uh... <gasps> oh, no. I think, I think one of the brothers died. We've lost a unit. It's either, oh no, 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 we haven't. No, no, we haven't. Oh, never mind. I'm looking at the enemies. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> False alarm. There are still two of the knights up though. Um, so we need to go after them quick. Uh, Eddie and Ed with two Ds are following us. We need to see what Ed and Edwin are up to. This is going to get very confusing, guys. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh shit, the fight's about to start. No! Ed! Ed! <laughs> Poor Ed. We couldn't save him in time. Oh, I thought that dude just went and killed another one. Wait. Oh my god, he just killed the other brother as well. Oh no. 
Ed and Eddie are down. All that's left is Eddie with two Ds. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry, brother. Well, you're not my brother, but whatever. Legionnaire got a kill, though. Damn. Well, down goes two of them. I mean, shit, what can I say? It happens. We did get four of them prisoners, so, I mean, we could even ask them if they wanted to join us. I mean, I doubt they would, but you never know. You never know. Um, okay, we'll let them collect all that. That was worth a little bit of money. Yeah, let's try to, let's try to recruit them. Um... No, he's not going to join us. Okay. Oh, well. All right. I think the fight's about to start. So before I do anything else, I'll be right back. And I am back. Holy fuck. That hype, that battle was hype, man. Oh, I mean, spoiler alert. I'm going to give you about three seconds to pause the video and skip forward like a minute or two or however long you need to. But Johnny Bones Jones fucking did it. Oh my god, that was, uh, that was sweet. I kind of, I kind of figured he would, but you never know. He hasn't been, he hasn't fought in so long that it, there's always a chance. <laughs> there's always a chance. Okay, so. <laughs> we, uh, god, we just lost, uh, two of the brothers. And this isn't a huge deal, because, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm planning on joining the army uh, at the end of this episode, and we'd lose them when we join the army anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, it is a little bit unfortunate, obviously, but uh, eh, there's always more of them. There's always more of them. And you know what? Hey, we don't have to say that they're dead dead. Maybe they'll come back later on in the series. We'll see. We'll see. Or we'll find some new ones. Who cares? Uh, so we got a skill point here. Where do we want to... Tell you what, I think we're actually going to hold off on this until we level up again. That way we can just bump Power Strike and Iron Flesh up to 10. Um, let's start putting some more points into Two-Handed here, since we're going to be joining the Nord soon. And uh, we're a little bit hurt, but fuck it, let's go for these thieves. They want to fight? So be it. And so, between this and the loot that we got from the last battle... We might be getting close to, uh, we might be getting close to another 10 grand. We'll have to see. Boom. <laughs> Fucked his life up. Oh, they didn't even touch us. These other guys didn't. All right, we got to keep the last brother alive. I mean, we don't have to. It'd be kind of sad if they all died, but eh, so be it. So be it. We saved them from the prisoner party. And, uh, they owe us their lives regardless because of that. And two of them have already paid with them. Okay, another one goes down. It's too bad. We knock our enemies unconscious. We're doing the right thing. Our enemies are killing our own boys, though. Freaking dicks. Totally doing this because uh, we're a nice guy, right? Not because uh, it's just easier to take people out when you have a blunt weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Saw the Legionnaire getting a kill. Nice. Um, might, actually, might actually be worth it. Let's go after some of the horsemen, if there are any horsemen left, like this dude. Because I want to let the Legionnaire get a bunch of kills. He just got another one on a highwayman. Nice. Uh, let's take out this dude's horse, if we can. I think he's running. Uh, I think we got a runner. Oh, nope. He's turning back around. Damn it. What a fucking whiff. <laughs> what a fucking whiff. Yeah, but that was, that was a good fight. All the fights were pretty decent, I'd say. Um... Eh, okay. There were definitely some one, one-sided fights there. Um, good god, the Chris Cyborg fight. If you don't know who she is, she is probably the, the most badass MMA chick in, I don't know, probably UFC history, I'd say. Or just MMA history in general. I think this was actually, this wasn't her UFC debut, but she hasn't fought too many times in the UFC. But it's certainly better than Ronda Rousey. Remember when everyone thought she was going to be the best, like, fighter ever? female fighter ever, and then she got her ass cleaned up a couple times, and now is completely irrelevant. That's yeah, kind of a, it's kind of sad, but oh well, that's what happens. Um, okay, yeah, so that was the only guy that got away. Not too bad. Not too bad, I'd say. There we go. A little bit more renown. Oh, we're gonna actually have to kill this guy? Fine. If you insist. Let's get another couch lance on him. That's what I want to see. Where are they at, though? Are they going to be up this hill? Oh, no, they're not. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy's on horseback. Come on. Boom! There we go. Oh, man. Pole arms are going up like crazy, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, good fight, good fight. Uh, who are these guys? Not, not anyone good. Huh. Not anyone good would be the answer. So we're just going to take, I guess, fucking whoever. I don't know who's good out of this group. Legionnaires don't level up, huh? Whoa, 81. Oh, my God. Yeah, collect all that up. Collect all that up. All right, we need to go to Uxhall and sell this off. I think this will be a pretty good amount of loot. Yeah, not enough to get us up to... 5,000 or 10,000 by any means, but I mean, it'll be a decent amount. Should be a decent amount. Oh, a tournament. Okay. I'll probably do this off camera. Show you guys like one or two rounds like we have been doing. Okay. Sell them off. We got, oh, wow. We got three grand off that. That's more than I thought we would get. Okay. Yeah. We're getting really close. We just need to make two and a half thousand off this tournament. And we'll be set. All right. Four teams of eight. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, baby. Is this a, uh, okay. I like this, like this arena set up a lot more than the last one. That's for certain. And we're a lot stronger than uh, we were in the last battle. So hopefully this one goes a little, a little bit better. Not quite as uh, close an affair as the other one. Oh, whoops, we are red. I was just trying to kill one of our teammates there. No big deal. All right, I already got three kills there. Red team is, is ruling the scoreboard right now. Oop, hello. I don't think I'm going to sit there and just let you pick off my troops, my men. Like how we say there are troops, even though it's a it's a team effort, right? Wow, we are fucking going off already. Yeah, see, this is... <laughs> I, like the, I like these maps a lot more. Give me an open map any day instead of that freaking guerrilla warfare bullshit. Uh, who's left here? Seven, seven knockouts already. Come on, baby. Give everybody else a chance, huh? Give everybody else a chance. Oh, this one's ours too. I can sense it. I can feel it. We're like a shark. Swimming closer and closer. Going in for the kill. But still, just barely beating Michael Phelps in a race. <laughs> oh! Guardsman, Sean! Sean! How could you do it to me, baby? Whatever. We still got the fiercest competitor. Ten points right there. Oh man, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Got a thousand for that as well. All right, we'll do one more round. But yeah, do you guys see that, uh, the Michael Phelps races a shark? I kind of had a feeling it was going to be some fake bullshit like it was, but, uh, come on, man. Seriously, they're hyping it up the whole time like it was actually him racing a, a real shark, which, spoiler alert, it wasn't. It, it, he did not race a real shark. It was just a computer like rendering or I guess simulation or something like that wasn't even a real fucking shark come on now but I don't know I kind of figured it was gonna happen I didn't watch it live fuck that <laughs> I'm not wasting my time I got better things to watch live like the UFC 214 that's pretty good it's also something that, it's always something like I feel like it'd be fun to try out just once just once try a uh, UFC fight or not a UFC fight just an MMA fight <laughs> um because, you know, I mean, you, you guys that have been with me for a while, you've seen, like, my different uh, vlogs that I occasionally do. You guys know I, I am very physically active. I, I work out almost every day. Uh, I've been an athlete my entire life. Um, I think, I don't know, I think, like, from an amateur standpoint, I'm not saying I'd win, but I'd say I don't think I'd put up a decent fight. Um, I think I'd physically outclass just about anybody because I'm six foot five. You guys have seen I'm pretty strong. And right now I'm at about 190. I can easily cut down to like 185, 180. Um, if you just lose the water weight. And I think from a strength and size standpoint, I'd just be so much bigger that, you know, I feel like I'd be able to do all right, even if I don't know so much about the technique. That, you know, until I get taken to the ground and then uh, <laughs> get submitted or something like that. I don't know. It'd be something fun to try. That's all I'm saying. Um, obviously, you wouldn't want to do that too many times. Don't lose too many brain cells. Uh, I mean, I did do football for a while, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I fucking noticed it when I was playing football, because I, uh, oh man, I used to lead with my head whenever, I, whenever I was tackling somebody, or not even tackling, just going in for hits, because I didn't really know the technique too well, so I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna charge at somebody, and I'm gonna hit them so hard that they fall over on the ground, and I would more often than not just lead with my helmet, and uh, I could tell, man. Towards the end of the season, uh, I would not be as sharp as I was in the beginning. 
Um, well, okay, not necessarily less sharp, but just... I'd have problems, I'd be like stuttering a little bit, like, I don't know, it, it's hard to explain it. I could just tell, I was like, this isn't good for me. <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of the reasons why I didn't end up doing it in college and chose to go for track instead. Um, even though I didn't get any money for track. I was offered uh, money from little, like, little D3 uh, or private schools. I don't know about D3, private schools were offering me a lot of money. Um, both academically and for, for football. Just because they can give out, you know, however much they want. Because they charge everybody else so much. Um, okay, moving on, moving on. But yeah, I, I can't imagine playing in another four years at an even higher level. With even bigger hits. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure I would have not ended up too well. Oh, fuck, we're in trouble this round. Okay, be careful. Okay, we got one teammate with us here. Oh, fuck. We took another guy out, but then we went down. All right, we're not going to win this one. Yeah, let all the sur surviving competitors get three points. I don't give a shit. We're so far in the lead right now. Uh, How many rounds do we have left? Two rounds left? Okay. Well, I'll quick do these off camera. Okay, this one's almost over, and uh, we're already going off this battle. We got seven kills already. There's still a couple red left. Oh, damn it. Couldn't quite take him down there. Come on, we'll let these guys get a hit. Oh, shit. Okay. Apparently, they only needed one hit there. <laughs> Just finished him off. Okay, we'll still take the, the seven. Holy shit, one of our guys got nine? Damn, he beat us. Dominant presence. Yeah, you deserve that one, baby. You deserve that one. But I think we won pretty handily there. Damn right we did. All right, Elite Scimitar is the prize. Five grand. 1,000 experience, 35 renown. I will take that. Thank you, sir. And uh, let's go flirt with a lady. Duchess Bella. Ooh, wow, those are uh, some cheekbones there. Girl, you looking a little anorexic. Um, You're already a wife? Okay, well, you have a daughter at least. Is she cute? Uh... Oh, oh my god, what the... F <laughs> uh, no, that's a no. That's a no, but... uh. I guess you're the only one. I'm not about to dedicate this tournament to uh, freaking Duke Delnard over here. All right, <laughs> I'm just messing around. Uh, wow, that's I mean, not horrible. It's not horrible. Although it sells for a thousand, rather have a thousand. There we go, and we have more than enough money to get ourselves another piece of land. Um, but I think, I think what we're gonna do is head up to the Nordic territory. Uh, since we're going to be joining the Nords in their army, we don't want to potentially be on the side of someone. Ooh, look at all these legionnaires. Oh, shit. Whoa, 137 forest rangers. Damn. I kind of want to see the outcome of this. So who got the legionnaires there? Oh, this guy got all of them. Damn. He also has a knight errant there. We'll pretend that's Ed. <laughs> Ed is sitting there. Edwin, what's up? Oh, when did you get that helmet, man? He still has zero kills. Oh, Edwin. Poor little Edwin. We're almost in Iberon, my former home. Okay. Used to live outside the village in the big mill. Uh, you can see the ruins from here. Oh, yeah. You're the one who had, like, his, his family killed in front of him or some shit like that. Yeah. Tough. I mean, tough break, man. Tough break. I mean, we all got a, we all got our own, own problems going on here. Uh, I mean, our brother, the, the other guys, their brothers died. Us, we almost lost the tournament. It's, it's been a rough week. It's been a rough week. I mean, we didn't actually lose the tournament. We won, but still, hey, rough week, rough week. Holy fuck, what is up with all these bandits? Did you guys see all the ones that were spawning in there? Yeah, we gotta be careful, man. They're coming for us. They're coming for us. Right, let's, uh, let's head over to Sargoth. No, that's not the direction I wanted to go. Alright, well, I mean, I can, I can quick take these guys out, no problem. All right, there we go. Nice and easy. No one died, right? Yep, okay. <laughs> Just double checking. Uh, let's well, get rid of this guy. Take the bandit leader. We'll actually get rid of... Nah, I don't care. That's close enough. Amira and Edwin actually both got kills for once, and they both leveled up. So, hey. Good job, guys. You're slowly getting better. Slowly getting better. Uh, you guys want anything? They keep on upgrading their stuff. I feel like... I feel like we wouldn't be getting anything that would be an improvement from bandits at this point, but I guess I'm wrong. 
Oh, High King Gravith wants us to go to a tournament in Jalkala. All right. Well, that's probably not going to happen. How far away is Jalkala? Oh, it's the far one, too. Come. I, I'm already... I don't want to... Really? Really? No, no. We're not going to do that. We just did a tournament. Ooh, oh, God. That was close. Sun worshippers. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, that would have been nasty. Oh, here we go. I like this guy right here. Herser Marrier. Only 134. That's what we want. That's what we want. For the Lord that we want to join in the beginning, we want him to be pretty small. That way he's getting into a lot of battles. And, um, we're actually guaranteed to get a lot of the action with it as well. Although, hello, I'm seeing some Huskarls in this prisoner party. I think Huskarls are decent. Let's, uh, let's check it out real quick. Check it out just right quick. Okay, yeah, they're, they're like mid-tier. They're mid-tier. Eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, tier five. They're not bad. Yeah, okay, they got all okay armor. They're not They're not amazing. All right, eh, it's not worth fighting them right now then. Oh, who's this? Yalgunder. All right, we'll go over to Sargoth though. We sell some stuff off. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, sell items automatically, duh. Okay, another 785. Alright, so we're up to nearly 20 grand. That'll do the trick. Let's go to the tavern, though. And, um... You a ransom broker? Oh! Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, this is basically like the, uh... The what's it called? Um... The Mystic Merchant. So there's a bunch of items here, and we can buy them. But we don't know what modifier we're going to get from them. Could be good, could be bad. Gotcha. Huh. Okay, is it the same thing every time is my question. It is. Alright, if we were to leave and then come back, would it still be the same? Let's try this. That, that's actually a good little... Where'd he go? Oh, do we only get one shot? Do we only get to talk to him once? That's weird. Okay. Let's try that again. Is he just gone? No, okay, he's still here. Shahid Sani. So let's see, is it different? It is, nope, it's not. It's the same. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Knight's plate armor? Four grand for that? I feel like none of the none of this is going to be that great. Yeah, I'm going to pass. That's a pass for me this time. All right, let's take a walk around the streets. We'll go ahead and... Uh, oh, this is the guildmaster right here. Ragnar Holmsteinson. Holmsteinson. All right. Uh, Dyeworks. Ah, my man. My man. I don't even need to see the rest of them. There's my money. Take my money. So that's going to be about... That's, that's over 10 grand a week we're going to be making just from our Dyeworks. And keep in mind, guys... I think we are 12 days in game. 12 fucking days in game. That's as far as we are right now. We're making 10 grand a week. And uh, we're looking pretty good. <laughs> we're looking pretty freaking good. So I'll tell you what. I might, you know what? I might end up doing that. Oh, Joe Keller tournament. What time is this? 1.30? It's only 1.30. All right. I can, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Valkyrie's coming in hot, baby. The Valkyries are coming in hot, and this time we only have one of the brothers with us to try to fight them. Okay. Uh, this is going to get dicey. <laughs> this is going to get very dicey. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we didn't couch lance one of them this time. And we, unfortunately, we're not strong enough to one-shot their horses either. Even though we're dropping like 166 damage, the horses in this mod are actually really freaking tanky. 70 damage isn't enough to take one of them out? Okay, I see you, girl. You putting in work? You been squatting at the gym? I see them... <laughs> I don't know what I'm... What the fuck am I even saying right now? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Good, there we go. Ed's still going strong here. Wait, is it Ed? Yeah. Ed with two Ds. He's the last one remaining, right? 
Fuck, I can't even keep track of their f which ones that I'm bullshitting you guys with. <laughs> of who's surviving and who's dying. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Come here, girl. Ooh, you're pretty hurt. I think you're the one I hit for 70. Ooh. Come on. Stop running. Oh, there we go. Right in the face. Ah, uh, back of the head. Turn it around. Come on. Come on. Come back here. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better, though. I'm feeling a lot better with our personal combat abilities now. I, I feel like we're actually tanky. We're a little bit tanky now. And we're actually doing enough damage that we can hurt these guys. And obviously, these aren't the strong enemies, okay? We are nowhere near... I mean, these are probably around tier 5 units out of 8 tiers so yeah they're not they're not gonna the tier 8, eight units are on a whole different level but for what we were doing before oh there goes our legionnaire oh, take out that valkyrie with the spear the lance to the face oh we do a lot of damage with this, with this thing with just regular attacks with it okay I see you Still a bunch of these girls left. There we go. Nice little shot there. There we go. Take out her horse. And then just camp her to death. Oh, ouch. And by death, I just mean knocking them unconscious, because uh, that's how we roll, apparently. Ooh, saw that javelin fly over our head. Dodge her hit. Get her on the way through. Ooh, dodged again. And down she goes. Alright, what do we got left? Two of them? Yep, two of them. They're both on uh, our boy. But he's holding strong. He's holding strong so far. Watch, he's gonna freaking die. <laughs> he's gonna die now that I said that. Uh... Oh, there we go. Another good shot. Damn, maybe we need to experiment around with some... Yeah, we're definitely gonna use some a polearm this series. I'm liking the two-handed weapon, polearm, and then... Then at least one throwing weapon... Maybe two throwing weapons. We'll have to see. And may then maybe a shield just for while we're using a lance or something like that. I don't know. Something along those lines. Take her out. There we go. Squad's going off. Did we kill all the Valkyries? It felt like we kill killed basically all of them there. 12 right now. Okay. We killed 9 of the 10. So, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty fucking much. Uh, okay. We'll release them. And I don't know if the Valkyries are better than the Knight Errants. In fact, I don't think they are, so we'll leave it like that. Any, any of y'all want some of that? No? Collect it all? Got a full grand from them, though. That's not bad. All right, let's head south. Um, you know what? We're just going to join Herser now. Mm. See, here's the problem, though, with joining him. Here's the problem with that is oh we are just narrowly avoiding them narrowly narrowly avoiding them who do you guys have oh well these guys have a berserker as their prisoner what is a berserker oh they leveled up into a crazed berserker 137 hit points very weak armor but that axe though <laughs> that axe though 69 damage that'll do the trick 26 agility 8 athletics with that light of armor they're gonna be moving and we can level them up into a crazed berserker okay we might have uh we might have to fight these guys i think they're gonna catch us regardless oh no we're a little bit faster okay here's what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna end this one off here oh hello i'm gonna end this one off here because this episode has been going on for a hot minute and then um oh shit Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. Okay, oh, man. Well, he's dead. <laughs> we just lost Ed. Okay. Okay, so it's me against 11 or 8. That looks more like 11 than 8. <laughs> uh, okay. Do we kill this horse at least? Is 231 damage enough to kill a horse? Probably not. Alright, I need to be careful here. Um. F 
Fuck me. Okay, we're doing some good damage, though, at least. I just gotta be careful. These guys don't have lances, luckily. Well, that's a hit and miss. They do have two-handed weapons, though, which are pretty slow on horseback and don't do as much damage as on foot. So that's, that is one plus side to this. Take him out. Oh, almost. He's, he's hurt. The health bars are amazing. I love this. Okay, there we go. One down. Alright. Well, I'm going to do this for a minute. <laughs> I'm just circling around. This will be probably a little bit boring for you guys to watch. So, ooh, laid him out. So I'll be back in a sec when either we've been taken out, Ed's died, or we, we actually managed to win. <laughs> one, of the, one of those three. Oh man, they're fucking running, I think. Yep, only two of them left. And we might actually be able to catch this one? Maybe. Maybe. His other buddy's gotten away. Maybe poke at his horse a little bit. No, there's no way we're going to take his horse out. Uh, I think he's going to get to the get to the edge in time. Yes, he will. All right, though. Hey, we managed to take them all out without uh, Ed dying. I got to chalk that one up as a victory. 21 red now. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a... Uh, Fuck the Valkyries. I think the Knight Errants are, weren't, are worth more. And we should get some... Oh, yes. Look at those gems, baby. Gems, baby. And some really good gauntlets. Oh, fuck, man. 56, 18. This is actually better. We'll take this. Oh, we are looking sharp right now. We are looking sharp. Okay. Collect it all, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Good shit. Oh my god, are they still following us here? Ooh, so are these guys. So are those guys. Okay, well... Oh man, I'm gonna fight these guys. I'm just gonna end this one off here. Don't worry. If we took out the Night Errants, we can, we can handle these guys. So, the beginning of next episode... Um, well, I'll tell you what. In between episodes, we're gonna fight these guys off, and then we're gonna go win that tournament down in Jelkala. Get us some more money. So, the beginning of next episode, we'll probably buy maybe one more piece of land. I think we'll have enough cash for it. And then we're going to go ahead and join the frickin' army. So, as always, guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series and all the rest of the series we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy. Hey, look! We found Artemetter!